Yo, what up YouTube? My name is Brandon and today's video is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a 3D GIF animation out of photos taken with the Nishika N8000 film camera. And this is a lenticular film camera. It has four lenses attached to the front, so every time you take a photo, it's going to produce four separate images at a slightly different angle from each other. And that's going to allow us to put it into Photoshop and compile it into one moving 3D GIF animation. So if you don't actually have one of these cameras, I'm going to leave the links to eBay and Amazon in the description and you can check out acquiring one for yourself. But other than that, this tutorial is pretty simple, so let's just get right into the video. Alright, so we have the Nishika N8000 photo opened up in Photoshop here, and as you can see, this is one long strip. And this is all from the same exact shot, but all of these images are all at slightly different angles because the Nishika N8000 does have four lenses. So what we're going to be doing today is putting these all together and animating them so that you have some sort of 3D stereoscopic type of like GIF image that this camera allows us to create. And this is a pretty simple process to do, so let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press M and select your rectangle marquee tool up here. And we're going to just chop this whole entire image up. We want to create four individual photos so that they all have their own layer. So we're just going to come here to the right, that rectangular marquee tool. And we're just going to make a rectangle around this image here, carefully as possible. Make sure we get the whole image. And right there seems about good. And with the background selected, we're just going to press Control C, Control V. So it just copies and pastes this uh, selection onto a new layer. And we're going to select the background again, and we're going to do it for the next one. Right there seems about good. Control C, Control V. Now there's a new layer of that. Select the background again, and we're going to just do the same exact thing for these two. So we're going to start over here. Come out here, and that looks pretty good. So Control C, Control V, and then select the background. And then the last one, we're gonna just have to outline again here. Come there, and that looks pretty good. So Control C, Control V, and we're gonna hide the background layer. So we just have the individual ones cut out. All right. So the next thing that we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to label these in order by where the water bottle is. So in this image, the water bottle is the farthest away from her shirt. And we're just gonna label them from farthest from her shirt to closest to her shirt. So this one's the farthest from her shirt. We're gonna select this layer right here. Which layer is that? Select this layer right here. And we're just gonna rename that to one, bring it to the top of our project. And then which water bottle is next? This water bottle seems the next farthest from her shirt. So we're going to select this layer, rename it to two. And then the next water bottle seems like this one's farther away, but it's starting to be behind her shirt. So we're going to label that as three. And then this one's halfway behind her shirt. We're going to label this one as four. All right. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure your move tool is selected right here at the top or just press V. And we're going to start with the first layer, hold shift and move it all the way to the left of this image. Then we're going to go to the second layer, same exact thing, hold shift, move it all the way to the left, line them all up. Third layer is already there. And then the fourth layer, hold shift, move it all the way to the left. All right. So the next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to select the top layer here. And this is where we're going to start lining up the image. So this top layer here, we're going to make the opacity about 50%. Yeah, right there is about good 50% and you want to line up a specific part of the image with the layer beneath it so that and this point that you line up will basically be the anchor point of the animation so with the first image the opacity is down that's going to be like kind of the anchor we're going to press on the second layer here and we're going to move it so that the eyes line up so in this image I'm going to line up all of them with the eyes so that looks pretty good to me hide the second layer go to the third one and this one as well, just line it up with the eyes. As closely as possible. Hide the third layer, go to the fourth and line it up with the eyes once again. Right there looks pretty good. 
and then you can make them all visible again select the first layer and then increase the opacity to 100 and now you can just like hide and reveal these layers to see if you like what that movement looks like so if we hide the first one it moves to the right a little bit it starts doing the animation and that looks pretty good we're just doing a rough one for this video so the next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to come up here to the window tab and make sure that we check on the timeline and now this is where we're going to be able to create the animation with frames so we're going to create a frame animation and right here where it says zero seconds and has a little drop down arrow we're going to click that arrow and press other and we're going to set the frame delay to about 0.13 seconds and all this is basically going to do is just going to tell you the time in between each frame is going to be about 0.13 seconds until it changes to the next so i found that 0.13 works pretty well for me but you can obviously experiment with anything you want so just press ok and right here where it says once and then has a little drop down, you want to click on that and press forever. And this is basically like the, um, the looping options. You can make it loop once, three times or forever or other. And for this, we're just going to loop it forever because we're going to save it and export it as a GIF. So with this animation, we have four photo frames right here. So that means if we want to loop it back to the beginning, so it loops very smoothly forever we're going to need to create six frames all together so right here is where you create new frames and duplicate the one you already have so we're just going to press this five times one two three four five and that'll give us six frames down here so select the first frame and whatever is showing on the frame that you have selected is what's going to be showing for that frame obviously so for the first frame we're only going to want the first top image selected for the second frame, we're going to want to uncheck the first frame and check on the second. For the third frame, we're going to want to uncheck the first again and check on the third. For the fourth frame, we're going to want to check off the first, check on the fourth. And for five and six, we want to loop it back to the beginning. So we just did one, two, three, four, and we're going to go back up. So three and two. So frame five of the animation is going to be frame three of our layers. And then frame six is going to go to frame two. So now when you press play, you should have a very rough animation. It looks something like this. So the thing that we're going to do next is basically just crop this down so that we don't have any of this transparent space in the background. So we're going to press C for crop, select, and we're going to just crop this down to what we think pretty good to something a little bit, a little rough. All right. because so we're going to be doing this a couple times. So on the top right there, on the first frame, we need to come down a little bit. We're going to need to come to the left for these frames and down. All right, so we got to crop it again a little bit. So we're going to come down a little bit, press C for crop. We're going to bring that slightly down so it fits the, the image. And we're going to bring this to the left, press enter, see what we have. The first frame is good. The second frame needs to come up and to the left because we still have the negative space. This frame is really coming in far. And then this one is just up and to the left. So again, C, go up. And then we're going to crop it to the left again for this one because this is a pretty huge crop. We're going to crop it all the way in to right about there. So you basically have this animated GIF out of just four layers here. Um, we'll just play it again to see if there's any negative spaces that we missed. That looks pretty good for a quick little edit for this tutorial. So where you can go from here is just pause this real quick and let's just select a layer that's visible. And if you want to add like a color grade to this animation or to any of these photos individually, you just want to select on the, one of the layers, go to filter, convert it for smart filters. So you can always go back in and edit the filter. Um, once it's converted, go back to filter, go to camera raw filter. And this is basically like Photoshop's version of Lightroom. Uh, you can pretty much just edit the whole entire photo in here if you'd like. You got curves, basic, detail, HSL adjustments, split toning, effects, all that kind of stuff. You can just change it up if you'd like. But I already have a small edit on this, so I'm not really going to change that right now. Um, so I'm just going to press cancel, but that is an option that you do have. So the last thing I'm going to show you how to do is just how to export this as a GIF. You just want to go to File, Export, and then under Export, there's going to be Save for Web Legacy. Just click on that. And then this is basically your animation here. Just zoom out. 
Um, you can preview it on the web right there if you press preview and it'll just pop up this little thing right there. Okay. Go back to the Photoshop document and you want it to be looping forever. Press play. You can see a little preview again and make sure it says GIF right here and then just press save, save it to whatever folder you'd like and then press done. And then that's pretty much it. You'll have a saved GIF file on your computer and then you can just start creating a bunch more. But that's pretty much it with this tutorial. Um, on the screen right now, I'm just gonna show you a couple of the other Nishika N8000 GIFs that I've made using this exact process. So enjoy. <music>